Welcome back. Where to talk you know where it is. You know, we're not even jumping into the intro today. You know who my co-host is? Isn't it? The wild boy, YC, back in the building, man. You no, know who I am already. I have had no, enough. No introduction needed. <laughs> I don't need to do this introduction to you. But Isn't please it? go to the Spotify and check us please. out on Spotify because we've got exclusive episodes that is mm. only on the Spotify. Facts. So go and check that out now. And we're joined this week by a special guest. Special guest, introduce yourself for me. BB Huntress. The BB Huntress. And today our topic is being pro-black not being with a black person. See, we've spoke about these topics many, many times. Many like, times. I'm talking about we spoke about this stuff so much times. But you know what? Every time we do speak on it, we get told that we're we're sellouts. Yep. And we, we hate black women. Yep. Okay. So today we're gonna be having this discussion. Do we hate black women because we're not with black men, but we're pro black? See, because I remember there's a guy called W. I think it's W. Du Bois. He was mm. a famous Abalon Abalonist of, of slavery. Yeah, yeah. But I think his missus wasn't black right and then it like got shitted on basically no 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 now he has but back in the day he's actually the reason why they abolished slavery oh he's right one, okay yeah with guys you. that wrote books and very educated i'm with you but he wasn't with a black woman so they would say that he wasn't pro-black because he wasn't with a black woman mm. that's what dr umar says the dr umar argument we're going to get into that today so yeah he doesn't believe that yeah because dr umar basically doesn't believe that you can truly be pro-black and support the cause unless you have a black wife Basically. So if basically if you date outside your race that invalidates your blackness. Basically. <laughs> basically what he's saying. You're not black if Which you, is wild because you can't help who you love, right? You, you can't. And um I don't believe and he, he brings it down to economics. Mm -hmm. Now when I first heard him say it, I, I I'm gonna take I'm gonna listen. Do you know why? Yes. Because I always listen to everybody to see where your argument's coming from. I'm not an ignoramus. Mm -hmm. Only an ignoramus thinks that he knows everything straight away and just locks off. So I, I took in what he was saying and um, it still didn't make sense. Yeah. But what I did see was that a lot of people, black people gravitated towards it. Mm. Because when something sounds good, we, we gravitate towards it. That's the problem with us. We always right. go to what sounds good, not what actually makes sense, which sounds good. Um, so he would say that you're, you're not keeping the black wealth inside of the black economy by not being a black woman because you're mm. not having black children. Right. I beg to differ with that. Of course, because, um, I believe that every child that is born with a black person is, is black. Period. Whether you like it or not. You, I, and I always ask this question. If, I, if I, a dark-skinned Asian girl has a baby with a black man, what colour does the child come out? Exactly. Yeah. Does the child come out exactly. mixed race? Nope. You yes. see the child, you'd be like, oh, look, 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 cool boy. Yep. I lie. Isn't that what they call him? Dark brown skin, yeah. Because people from Guyana, people from them parts of the world, mm. they look Indian, but they're really black. It's true. Because they're West Indians. Yep. So, yeah, man, this, this argument um, is... It's been going on for a long time. A I'm very honest. long time. And now see, but but now see, but now we got a guest who's who's like a female. Now, like, now we can get your perspective. So like what do you think like the whole take on pro black and especially in terms of like dating and how you and how you're viewed like if you have a partner that's not black, like what's your takes on that? I don't think there is a problem with you dating somebody outside of your culture. Being right. pro-black has not really got anything to do with who you who you date because like you said, you mm. can't help who you love. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think being pro-black is being supportive of your community, mm. um, help building your community, putting money into your community, spending into your community. Yeah. There's no problem doing that. You have a lot of men that will go and conquer and and um, have different women from different tribes. You yep. know, it's been going on for centuries, mm -hmm. but yet the wealth is still kept within their community. We are, we are not, you know, no different. Mm. One thing about which is very interesting about us black people, no matter what variation of black we, you, you have, mm -hmm. no matter what, it's, it's still perceived, whether you agree with it or not, as black. If you have a right. baby with a, a black man has a, or a black woman has a baby with an Indian person, mm -hmm. that child is considered to be black. Yep, yep. Now, you can call yourself biracial because that's what it is, but in the eyes of society, you are classed as black. Even if you are a child mm. that looks white, the moment, you know, the, the far white, yeah, the, the ones that are white supremacists, the moment they, they even hear or get a sniff of the fact that you have any black in you, you're no longer considered white, <laughs> right? Yeah, right, exactly. So no matter what we mix with, you will always be considered black. Whether you agree with that or not, that's just how society sees it. Mm -hmm. So there is no real fear of us going out into another culture 
and um, integrating and having children with other cultures. There's no real, there's no real um, risk of us dying out as a breed. We don't have that problem. Mm. Do you know what? The black, gene always, the black gene will always dominate. Do you know where I go with this as well? Yeah, um, mm. I'm gonna go a little bit into the rabbit hole now. I'm jumping into the rabbit hole mm-hmm. now. So I would even go as far as saying that black is a construct. So it's mm. not actually true. None of us here are actually black. No, we're not. Deep it, deep it, what I'm saying yeah. to you. My hair might be black, but my skin colour is dark brown. Right, yeah, it's true. You have people mm-hmm. that are from all over the world that are dark brown that mm. might not be black in their origin. Yeah. Right. But they're dark brown. Right. So in, in a hind sense, I would even go as far with, further as to say that melanated people are melanated people if you really want to break it down as, into a concept like that. So mm-hmm. if I'm with somebody who's melanated or non-melanated... The person, and this is what people don't actually understand about melanin. When melanin goes into something, it takes over. Yeah, yeah. dominant gene. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the dominant gene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so dominant that it, it's literally, there's people in the world that have melanin. You could tell that they've had some black in them. Facts. Yes. So people, if you go to mid-Asia, like Malaysia, places mm-hmm. like that, Indonesia, yep. you see those people, they have melanin in their skin. Yeah. It's like they the have the lots Italians. of melanin in their skin. Yeah. Mm. So where did that come from? It had to be some sort of interbreeding that we done. Mm. But yeah. people have forgotten history to the point where now we're just considered a race of people. Right. To the point where just because of this race that we're conceived as, mm. we've put ourselves in our own box. Right. So now if we was to say melanated people, we'd be talking about 80% of the world. Of course. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, eighty percent of so the world. So why variety, man? Yeah. Mm. But if we say we're black people, right. we've probably gone now. We've gone to a minority. Right, thing. right, right. I'm with you. Oh. Do you understand where I'm going with yeah. this? So, yeah, man, we gotta be. Um, if we if we put things in boxes, mm-hmm. then we'll always be in boxes. Right. So, I believe that even that construct of saying pro black, what does it actually mean? Because to an African American, the majority of them don't even know where they come from. They don't know their history. It's true. They don't even know. If you ask, how can you be African and American? Mm. How's that even a thing? Mm-hmm. How can you be that's av- only s- assigned to black people. You never really hear white people say European American. Yeah. You never hear Chinese American. No. Never. Yeah, it's just Chinese. No, it's yeah. just Chinese. This is just no. Or just American. That's mad, but yeah, because I think we, d- yeah, but I think I guess fundamentally, pro-black is essentially just like supporting black and putting black first, black communities, black businesses, black black is just first in terms of black being mm-hmm. pro-black. But then, like, like, do you feel like? When you run into the wall of like, okay, I'm a pro-black person, but you can't be pro-black and have like a partner who isn't black because now you're going to be perceived as well. She's kind of going against what she's trying to promote. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, I, I think I think that stigma comes with dating outside your race. So it's like, if I'm saying I'm pro-black, mm-hmm. but then I pull up with a blonde white girl, it's like, what, like, what kind of time is he on? Do you know what I mean? Like, but I think that that comes with the territory if you are going to be like, I'm a pro-black person because I think the concept is like, your kids should be black. Your partner should be black. Everything about you should be black. If you're going to be pro-black, is in the status. But I think if you if you do anything outside of that, you're going to be shunned a bit, sp- uh, speaking down on. And it's like, well, that doesn't s- sort of uh, necessarily dictate how I'm going to move on what I think. But I think society, and especially other black women, will look at you like, don't speak about pro-black because you don't know our struggle. Your partner isn't black. Your kids are mixed. And I think that's that's the part where we need to start s- sort of separate and not type of like put down men or women who are dating other outside race because that, that, that doesn't mean I doesn't love my mum. It, it, it doesn't mean that I think other black people aren't on my level. Well, she don't love her dad. Like, right. It's the most dumbest. I would, I would that, that argument would go through my head. If I see a black woman, I've never had a problem never. seeing someone of my kind with another national no. uh, colour person. And the reason being is because I have no insecurity. If right. that's what makes you feel good about yes. yourself. Right. And you're, that person, the only thing I'm saying is if that person treats you good. If he's treating you bad now, then yeah, yeah I've got a problem with that. Okay. You know, like, what, is he trying to do this? Or but that's the int- intricate things of people's relationship. But I'm saying, right. in general, if I see two people together, I'm like, well, if you're a movie, I'm, I hope you're happy. I hope that person is you know satisfied I mean? giving you all <laughs> your real. needs. And doing For real. You want. Right. Like, that's For real. I generally ask that. That's, that's the main question. I don't care about this. Oh, he's not going to understand this. He's not going to make him understand. Mm. And if he's yeah. not willing to open up, then you as a person, you should know what you need to do at that that's moment. Because I don't see black women, I can't imagine, if this is me saying, I can't imagine me as a black man getting with a black woman and it, or getting with a, a white woman or something or getting with an Asian woman mm-hmm. and then be like, yeah, you know black women, yeah? Because this is what they, a lot of people have this mindset that we do, do this. But I think it's a minority that do this. Yeah. You know what I'm about to start say? Start dragging them, innit? So we start dragging our own guy. Yeah, black women. Like that, that, well. yeah. Bro, 
I love black women, yeah. but if I'm not with a black woman at that time, just means that I'm not with a black woman. That's fine. it. But yeah. I still think black women are the most attractive women in the world. Facts. That I I'm here. generally yeah, think, yeah. yeah I always think they're the most attractive women in the world. But you've just not found one right. that you want to be yeah, with. That's it. Yeah, right. but I think they're the most attractive. But you know what? This minority of people, right, mm. they are quite prominent in with men that, that are white. Because... Right. I, and I tell you this, and I say this why, because I'm with a white man, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm very pro-black, and I'm very open about that. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of taken back how shocked he was at that. Because what he's found okay. with black women, that white women, he, black women, sorry, he's mm-hmm. dated in the past, okay. have been the type that are either, you know, seen black men, you know, in a stereotypical way. Dragging them for that. Yeah, yeah right, for, yeah, right. And decided, you know what, I'm just going to go all, mm-hmm. all white because maybe they've seen their mum mm-hmm. being abused by a black man, so therefore they've just stared clear of them. I'm with you, I'm with or you. they've just had really bad um, experiences with yeah. black men and now they're just looking for a white and shining armour. Right, right, right. And here comes the white man comes to save the day. Oh, you're so brilliant. These these big bad black men treated me badly. Right. Do you see what I mean? Mm. And that's the problem that I have. Date who you want. If you want to date a white man or a Chinese man, you can do that. You don't need to bring down your own men. You don't Facts. do that. It's Facts. true. You don't do that. Just because I'm with a white man mm-hmm. doesn't mean that I'm going to disrespect my bla- my black men. And why would you? I wouldn't do that. Right. I love my black men. I'm proud to be black. Mm. Do you see what I mean? I'm pr- why should why should I want to be anything else? I respect every culture, Muslim, white, Chinese, doesn't matter. I respect it, but I embrace my my blackness. Mm-hmm. I want to say one thing though, yeah. and I think you're right because you touched on something. The fact that we call ourselves black, mm. pro black. What is it to be black? Mm-hmm. Now, to me. I don't necessarily think we should be calling ourselves black. I'm mm. offended that people call us black. And I okay. tell you this, right? Because to me, being called black is like being called a nigger or a negro. Okay. Mm. I'm with you, I'm with you. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. We're not black. We're not. We're not black. We weren't running around calling ourselves black when we were back in Africa. That's, That's a concept that the white man has put in, in us and colonising us. Trust me. Because everything, black, everything mm. that is black is associated with being bad. Black yeah. darkness, right. the darkness in the right. room. Black cat, theft, violence, black male, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 hoodie, everything. Yes. He was in all black. That's mad, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, everything is black. Yeah. And when we embrace this, or we are black, we are black. We're basically associating ourselves with a, neg- with a negative connotation, it's and true. we are not that. Mm. Call me, call me Afro Caribbean. Mm. Yeah, call me a descendant of Africans. I'm happy with that. I'm not black. Why do you need to call me black? That's why I've got to... Why do they call themselves white? They're not white. Yeah, do you, do, that's why um, <laughs> I've, I've switched it up now. Because yeah. I, I heard I had a debate of a Somali and they mm-hmm. said to me, I'm not black, I'm Somali. Mm-hmm. And for, for a long period of time, I was like busting my brains about these guys. They want to differentiate themselves. After a while. But then after a while, I've got to the concept and I started to say... I'm not black, I'm Jamaican. Mm. Because if you really want to put it to something, I'm actually born in Jamaica, bro. Facts. My mm. both parents are Jamaican. Same. Mm. Like, my dad is a hard black Jamaican. Same. Like, man don't even speak English, bro. My mom and like, dad lived there. Jamaica, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bear quick. Dad, just chill. Just not coming to the yard. Just say, like, yeah, you wouldn't yeah, yeah. understand him because he's just talking fast and he's just Jamaican. But now he's like, he can speak better English now because he's been here for a long time. Right, right, right. But in general... I'm actually Jamaican. I love my Jamaican roots. I yep. love Jamaican things. Like, I'm a proper Jamaican. Bro, 100. I'm so Jamaican, yeah? You, you come to my yard, yeah, and I do things a certain way. Yeah, like, yeah. even my, my vocab, the way I speak. Yeah, patois the way I, for days. Like, you know when you bring your kids and you say, yo, there's mm. certain traditions, like, yo, you have to get the haircut from the Jamaica, man, yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, like, all of them things. So, I've got my own culture and stuff like that, yeah? So, mm. Instead of calling myself black now, I'm Jamaican because I know my roots. I've known my granddad. My granddad's buried at the back of our house in Jamaica. I know my village. I say village, you know, because we was in Bush. You know, people don't come know. Up, know I'm from Bush, bush bro. I'm from forward. Bush. I'm not from city. I'm from Bush. bush so it's spot. like, for me personally, I know where my roots come from. So I'm not just going to call myself, I'm black because, and I remember someone said this to me and I was like, oh, you're definitely from Africa. And I was like, how do I know that? Because mm. my granddad told me we weren't slaves. And then he said that his dad wasn't a slave. And when I done the maths, so when my granddad was born in 1914, you know about the First World War and Second World War? Because my granddad looked at me and said, right, I was in the Second World War. I looked at the old man, I said, this old man, I've said the story a hundred times. I looked at him and said, you wasn't in no Second World War. I done my history. Yep. It was taking Jamaicans, yep. putting them on the front line. Mm-hmm. Guess what my granddad was? A chef. 
And that's how Jamaican kitchen, men are yeah. really good at, at cooking. Yeah. And you never clock that. They're bad. It's the best. They're the best. It's Bro, true. go to any Jamaican <laughs> shop and look in the kitchen. You're guaranteed to see a black Jamaican man. They're hard. Yeah, my yeah, dad's yeah. a sick chef. As my dad is a bad boy chef. He, they're the most women as well. It's mad. Bro, my dad's so yeah, sick. Yeah. He made me want to start cooking. Facts. I'm, I cook now because I see my dad cook. So I, feel, I think it's normal for a man to cook. Mm. I don't feel like, oh, women should do all the cooking. I actually generally think that if sometimes you have to chef up to show her, like, well, like, I'm a, know, like, I'm a bad boy chef I get busy you. in the kitchen. Look, look at this. You didn't, even, you didn't even season the meat like I did. Like, yeah. Marinate in the fridge. Yeah. You know what? Marinating for a night. <laughs> huh? Marinating for a night. She didn't even know that. She's marinating Facts. at the point. And yeah. Trying to cook it. Yeah. Said, no, you got to let it soak in. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes different. They've been on that time does. for the time. But the point of what I'm trying to say is that sometimes we're ascribing ourselves to things that are constructed by colonizers to keep us as divided as yep. possible. Yeah. Right. That's what we're, we're getting mm. done by. We're getting done by the colonizers, the colonizer mindset of division. Because the, the longer we stay divided, the longer we will never make changes to actually become great. Now, anyone that's been Africa, I've been Africa, and you'll never hear an African saying they're, they're black. You won't even say they're African. You hear a Kenyan saying they're from a specific Wait, tribe. Yeah, tribe, yeah. They'll be like, I'm from the Kokodas. I'm like, yeah. what's the Kokoda? I'm yeah. the Zulu tribe. I'm yeah. like, Zulus? And these are you, man, dress. Like, I'm watching, yeah. man, like, wow, this is... This is yeah. deep. I'm learning a lot about the yeah. culture. And they're talking about the women, um, they go off to this camp and they did all these rituals when they're 40. And I'm like, what? Mm. And the boys have to go out there and do this. And mm-hmm. men are, men are um, working from 12, 13. Yep. Like, you know what I'm saying? So the only it's time deep. this black concept comes up is when we come to the West. Right. right. In the East, is man ain't black, bro. Nope. Man's, man's whatever their tribe is. Mm. Whatever my family is. Whatever my dad's name is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I still feel like... Um, even that in itself is a way of um, keeping us divided yes. among yeah. each other and then yeah. keeping us weak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Giving us these concepts that oh, black is evil, black's this, black's that. You know what you I'm know saying? What? Life and death is in the power of the tongue. What you pronounce over yourself is what you will be. I just mm. find it strange that we don't think on the spiritual level. Like, yeah. if we are associating ourselves with something that's black, that's considered, no matter what nation you go into to be bad, it's the darkness. Right. Yeah. Why are we, why, how can we ever prosper if that's what we think of ourselves, if we are associating ourselves with something that is considered to be negative mm. and was only given to us only to bring us, bring us down? White people are not white. Mm-hmm. Their skin is not white. No more than our skin is, you know what I mean? Our skin right. is not black. Right, right, right. Right? But they have associated themselves with white because white is considered to be pure, mm-hmm. clean, and he associates as ourselves with black because it's considered to be evil, yeah. to be darkness. Mm. We need to come out of that. We need to change our way of thinking. We're not black. Yeah, Call us yeah. Africans or Anything descendants else. of Africans or Caribbean, but we are not black. Come so, on. like, so, like, so, like, would you say like the white man is responsible for constructing w- not only the word black, but the division and then hate amongst each other? Yes. Like, and looking at another black person, and because because you, you know how society will will, will, will favor. The fairer skinned black woman and the darker skinned black woman is like, given less opportunities, is, is, like, is seen as less marketable and she's not desirable. But yeah. it's like to us, we're like, she's black, bro. But it's yeah. like almost like to mainstream media and society, it's like because yeah. she's closer to white than you, you, you are, are yeah, she's more marketable. Are. Like we can push mm-hmm. her and advertise her more. Mm-hmm. And you know, the whole dark skin is, is considered aggressive, loud, and rude. Fair skin is like uh, light, soft, and, 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 and that division amongst us. We, we really look at each other in that regard, but we didn't just grow up thinking that fair skinned person is better than me. Someone must have put that in our brains, right? right. Do you know what I mean? Like, where does that right. come from? And who put it in my head? Like, why do I hate my brother? Right. Because try and know this, two black, a, ma- a black man and a black woman can have a mixed race baby. Right. Period. Yeah. Two white people can't have anything black. So this idea that we need to merge with white people. Unless to get, no, we, we, like, yeah. we got the source already, bro. Yeah. Like black people can, can have many shades of black all over the world. So I think uh, the way that I think we sort of look at each other and and I have a conditioned mindset of oh he's dark and all that skin. We're all just we're, we're all just n words to the rest of the world. I tell you something. So it on? will take about three generations to turn a child generally, yeah, on average, a a, 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 a whole family from black to white. It will take right. one generation. Yeah. To turn a child from white to black. Done. That's yep. all. Mm-hmm. Mm. We have a dominant gene. We have a gene that a lot of the world want to get their hands on. It's, it's, it's true, but you, yeah, melanin, melanin is, melanin is, 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 is almost like gold. The value of it is yeah. really high, bro. If yeah. might fluctuate from time to time, yeah. but it's high. Yeah. But you see, um, just 
coming back to a question, you see the the the, 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 the partner you're with here, and he said that all the black women are cussing black men. How mm-hmm. how did he respond to this? How did he take it? Like because if you know, I always, I've got this saying. Yeah? The only time someone's gonna come to you and talk about me is if they think that you're my enemy. Right. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Right, right, right. You, you're not gonna come to me. Mm. You wouldn't, you wouldn't go to him and cuss me if you know that we're super tight because you yeah. know that shit's gonna come back Facts. to me. Mm. But the, usually, when someone's talking behind my back, yeah, right, I always say, it's, it's mm-hmm. why did they feel comfortable telling you that? Telling me Does that, that make sense? Yeah. That means you must have showed a sign that you don't give a fuck, you don't care about me. They hate each other. Mm-hmm. So do you, do you make sense? But mm-hmm. deep this now, did he think in his mind because that's co- constantly happened, you're gonna be on that same vibe? So he's right. said, yeah. Like, so what is his response every time these black women are cussing black men? You know, it, mm. you know, the, and this is the thing. You get you get two types of people, two types of white people, I find that. Okay. And you get some white people mm-hmm. that are, um, they're just racist because they don't like black people. And you'll yeah. never understand it. But the reason why they don't like them is because, not, not just because they're scared of the unknown, because they're jealous, because they feel deep down. Mm-hmm. If we was on an even... Right. No, trust me, it's real. Right. Yeah. If we was on a, an even playing field, yeah, they feel that they would be threatened. Their superiority would be threatened, mm. right? And then you get those that kind of filled into Real. the narrative of the stereotypes that what they see on telly, right, and they right. have no knowledge and understanding of black struggles. Like, for instance, you get a lot of mm. white people that, okay, they will go on Netflix and they will see um, things like Top Boy. Right, and okay. they'll see things like Power. And what's the typical. narrative that's being pushed? Drug the typical dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 drug right. dealer mm-hmm. and things like that. And mm-hmm. they'll feed into that because they've never really been able to go into an environment or get close to black people to really understand their struggles. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Nor have they really cared. Mm-hmm. And I find mm-hmm. that they're ignorant. Mm-hmm. They're ignorant. They don't, they don't understand it. So just think, right. you know, why don't they just get a job? Like everybody else is struggling. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Or, you know, well, if it's all black children that are generally going out stabbing, then it must be a black a black problem. Right, 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 right. right. But my thing is, okay, True. if you was to take white children that are born in 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 um in wealthy families, yeah. right? Yeah. In the suburbs, and you was to put them into the ghetto where there's lack right, of opportunity, the there's not really good infrastructure, mm. there's no money or resources being spent, and you took all the black children and put them the into opposite. areas right in the opposite. What do you think is going to happen? Exactly, hundred. It's but not. It's not the blackness of a person that makes mm. them um, more likely to go into crime. It's the socioeconomic structure that they are born into. Right. If you mm. was to put white people into the ghettos, they would be stabbing each other and be Quick. selling drugs just like that. Mm-hmm. The same way that you would see black. The reason people why doing what it. you're saying is a fact is because about mm. a few years ago. Scotland mm-hmm. was the highest in the whole of England for mm-hmm. knife crime. Yeah, I saw that. Right, but, but the majority of people there are white. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you would never hear this being pumped Why in would the it? media. No. Because the stereotypes that they want to push, it's like when um, Akala yeah. faced, I think it's Pierce Morgan or someone, and he, he was like, yeah, black and black's a big crime, isn't it? And he Shut said, him down. Well, black and black's not really a big crime because you've got this, this, that, and he hit him with facts. Mm. Pure so facts. I understand what you're saying, and it makes perfect sense of what you just said. But again... You've got the you've got a white person who mm-hmm. who's ignorant and they have something called the inferior complex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now this took me years to understand. Mm. See, I always thought that because we've been conditioned about slavery, mm-hmm. and what I mean by conditioned is that they push this on us like this is part of our history. Mm-hmm. That's why I hate Black History Month. I say <laughs> which is I, I don't time, like yeah. Black History Where's Month because the, the majority of Black History Month is about slavery. Yep. Mm-hmm. I don't want to hear that. Tell me some Tell me uplifting stories yeah, for real. about because my granddad was a slave. And my great grandma yeah, was like, positive I don't know about none of that. It's now, true. I'm not saying it never happened to the people then, because it did. Mm. But I'm saying that's not the part of history that I only want to make my children realise. I'd rather teach my children another history, if I'm being honest, than just for them to grow up with the inferior complex that the world's against me and it's because I'm black. Right. Because I don't go through life with that. Mm. But as I've started to go through life, I used to think, oh, the white man's looking at me, this white man's... Looking. And I started to realise something, that um, it wasn't personal. It was out of their scared of our superiority. So they'd see us as strong. They'd see they'd be like, oh, they'll be saying saying things like, oh man, you must get lots of birds. And I'm like, big, yeah, big. You got, you got, you got a big this, and I'm like, hair all the time. Yeah, because black men are known for being able to put it. Yeah, and then then they'll say little things like to me like, oh, like 
you black guys can punch really hard. And, and I'll be thinking, you know, why do they keep saying this weird stuff yeah. around? All right, let me say this to you. Yeah. Let's think about this concept. And I want us, all, I want all black people or people of colour to think about this. Now, why would you now, if you, right, let's, let's, let's face it, yeah, white people generally run the world. They're the ones that are yeah. pushing the education. I agree. Now, if you, now, why would you push black history mm -hmm. sorry yeah. why would you push black history october mm. every single year right. into the school education right when you know that it has a ch it has a, a good chance mm. of inciting some sort of anger right. into black people unless you had a bigger agenda mm -hmm. why would you do that mm -hmm. why would you do that because the bigger agenda would be is to constantly remind us that we were slaves right right yeah. because it's a psychological thing because we're always thinking of ourselves as slaves. Mm -hmm. And as you can see that even though things have progressed now in society, still. it's still kind of there. We are never at a point where we are not reminded of our colour or, from, or, or where we've come mm -hmm. from. And that agenda is more important true. than them ri taking a risk of reminding us and we... And we having an uprise and a revolution and saying, do you know what? You did do this to us. Because think about it. They know what they've done to us. Of course. Yeah. So if you know that you've done so much bad to black people, would you not want us to forget about it? Why would you run the risk Constant of constantly reminding us of the bad we've done? You just wouldn't do it in normal sense. If you've done someone something wrong in life, you would not want them to, you know, you'd want to move on from it. You wouldn't want to constantly remind them. Because what if that mm. is just the cat, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back? What if that might be just that to just push them off and want them to tie and take revenge? Unless you've got yeah, right. an agenda agenda a bigger agenda no you're right because because even even as an adult now you know you know i don't i, I don't i don't watch those, those slave films because i just get tired i like it mad hot when i when i see it's like I, I have no interest in watching slaves getting beaten uh like fucking like raped whipped. i don't want to that i don't want to see that because i get i get mad hot mm, really? and, and i think so like yeah so like would you say they should like reform uh the school system in terms of when they're promoting black history in terms of uh, the angle they're looking at it or just wipe it completely like, so, so you're saying no, we should get rid of it, it or just it, did, it did happen to us yeah. because I think in a way there's a lot of there's a lot of growth that we can have that and inspiration mm. because it shows us just how strong we've come it shows us about respect for our ancestors what they've had to go through yeah. it shows us that now we're in a position where we're not slaves that we can be doctors and lawyers and entrepreneurs we can do these things and we need to use the opportunities that we have in today's right. society right. to elevate ourselves so that we are inspirational to the the young ones coming up, mm -hmm. but at the same time, mm -hmm. that you know, we need to be able to tell the stories of other things. That's just not our story. That's not where we you know, started. One aspect of it is just yeah. slavery, slavery, slavery. What, like, about, like the pharaos, the yeah. what about the pharaohs, the Egyptians? What about the pharaohs, the Egyptians? They don't want to talk about that. Mm. It's true. Why don't they want to talk about that? They will turn around. You know, when mm. when they went and realized that um, the Egyptians was a strong civilization. Right, they didn't want to accept the fact that black people can build a civilization. <laughs> yep. They didn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So the best way they could set to, to justify it is, oh, well, they're not really black. Right. They're white brown. <laughs> All of a sudden, and black people right. are no longer the white Jesus. Black it's anymore. Bad, isn't it? They're they're brown white. Mm -hmm. Kind of concept is that they're black, and th and even now you will get some people that will argue with you that there was no such thing as black pharaohs and black kings and right. black queens. And it doesn't help from when you... Because, like, like, so like, when you see films that are, like, remade, yeah? Like, mm -hmm. you notice that the cast members for a lot of Egyptian films are all white. Like, as in, like... Yep. They don't... Like, they don't use black figures to represent past black films because it's almost yep. like, like they're trying to erase the black face. Yeah. Even, even more time you go to churches, white Jesus. Since yep. when was Jesus white, bro? How could Jesus be <laughs> white? He was Middle <laughs> Eastern. So was he, white? he was brown skin, you know, light when? skin at best. Like, come on. Like, that's, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, that concept of the white Jesus. White Jesus, what? Just, just made me abandon Christianity. Go to the, mu go to the museum. You've done it, you've done it, you've done it, you've done it. I, 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 I abandoned it straight away. <laughs> As soon as I heard that, I was like, this is this is a form of a like, white Jesus. A man. And you know, like I read the book about Malcolm X, yeah. And Malcolm X, one of the mm -hmm. first things he said in his book, yeah, in his biography, was like, bro, that's the reason why he just he couldn't. He said that was a way of show. That was how they kept power over us when we first came over. Yeah. People had their own religions. People had their own beliefs coming from Africa to mm. America. But people don't actually understand this. And this is um, another part of history that they don't tell us. 
there was already Africans living in America already that yeah. was trying to colonize yeah. America and was fighting with the Red Indians. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why it was so easy for them to get to America. Deep it, just deep it for a second. Do you think that Afri- the Americans came there, saw some Indians, killed them, and they say, yeah, let's build, build some buildings? Right, right, like, right. How would they have known how to navigate? Mm-hmm. What, riding through the cities? Mm-hmm. There had to be people that were showing them already. Right. And those people was the Africans that they was picking up from Africa that already knew America already because mm. it was already it was already being part African right. part thingy. There was fighting. There was lots right. of fighting because of the Aztec people that were and and the Africans that were fighting already. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of things going on already that we didn't know about. Mm-hmm. But they, they this is part of history is so powerful that if we let you know this, then it's like is America even America? Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. It's a whole different name for it. It's yeah. too much. So knowing about civilizations and stuff is about the Abyssinian Empire. The, it's part of East Africa. It was all the countries that were part of the East African continent. It was a powerful empire. But you never hear them talk about no. this. You wouldn't. They had Why so many you? kings that were like, that took over half of the world, bro. Quick. These mm-hmm. kings were like, they had the best spearsmen. They, they created societies. They created things nowadays that we have. That will show you, like, you know how to go to the toilet and stuff like that. Mm. You know how you know how English people was going to the toilet? They were throwing their stuff out the window. It's mad. They didn't even have no sewage systems. Yep. The and people were dying of diseases. A man, a man had to physically move the shit down the hill with the... <laughs> yeah? No, seriously, that's yeah, how they were forever. doing it. They're, they're this is part of the history that they tried to hide. Like, it, we yeah. was actually yeah. savages once to the point that we, we wouldn't and even... Dumb. We weren't even living in a normal society. Mm. And then the Romans got stuff from Africa yep. and then brought it into England. So if you look at the if you look at the root, it was like this. Mm-hmm. But then they erase that part and don't let you know that part. They only let you know the Romans was bringing. What well, we stuff. did.